Hi everyone! I mentioned in my previous video that university has started up again after the winter break, and in this term I'll be taking some new modules. One of these is behavioural ecology, which, simply put, looks at animal behaviour. Animal behaviour is a complicated thing, and since humans tend to anthropomorphise other animals, the behaviour displayed by these animals can often be difficult to describe. For instance, in humans, breathing is innate. It's an automatic process which we do not have to put thought into. But this isn't the same for all animals. Secondary aquatic organisms, like whales, turtles and seals, are not able to breathe underwater as most other aquatic organisms can. Instead, they must return to the surface to breathe, so in these creatures, breathing is classed as a behaviour. There are different ways we can observe animal behaviour. In situ or ex situ. In situ means in the natural environment, whilst ex situ means in a laboratory environment. Laboratories allow the environment around the animal to be controlled, meaning that we can see how an animal behaves in response to certain conditions. Observing animals in their natural environment is less invasive and shows how animals truly behave, as in laboratory conditions, animals can often behave differently. Both methods have provided us with a huge amount of information on animal behaviour, but nowadays a combination of in situ and ex situ are both used. Some fantastic scientists have made tremendous advances in understanding animal behaviour. These include the likes of Charles Darwin, Nicholas Tinbergen, Carl von Frisch, Conrad Lorenz, and one of my biggest influences and inspirations, Jane Goodall. She's an incredible woman who studied chimpanzees in their natural environment for over 55 years and has gone on to work on numerous conservation projects. Over these next few months, this behavioural ecology module will be covering topics like mating, personalities, group behaviour and how animals learn, so some of these aspects will be discussed in my future videos. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and got a good introduction to what behavioural ecology is. In my next video I'll be discussing the wide range of mating behaviours witnessed in animals, so don't forget to subscribe to learn more.